Well, it does. <laughs> 648 is your tire. 649 now. Live look at New York City. Beautiful start to the day there. Uh, very quiet, no clear uh, skies there. Temperature 54 degrees uh, for us. We're seeing some 60s out there this morning, some lower 70s, and a lot more tropical moisture is heading our direction. So especially across the lower valley, you're going to feel a lot more humidity out there this morning, and you'll feel it more so this afternoon as well. So therefore, we could see an enhanced sea breeze boundary today just a little bit. Yesterday we didn't see anything. Today we could see a few of them. Uh, very small, very light. Notice uh, as we go through uh, late morning into the afternoon hours, uh, starting out in the lower valley and extending westward. But really they're going to have a hard time making it very far uh, westward today as there's still relatively dry air towards the surface as you go westward. But it is a sign of changes on the way. A lot of tropical moisture down in the southern Gulf of Mexico will help us out over the next few days. 20% chance that's going to be east of Highway 281-69C today. Upper 80s to lower 90s for highs with the exception of being out there along the coast. Mid 80s, east winds at about 5 to 15 miles an hour. They could be gusting at times up around 20 to 25, especially the further east you go. High pressure anchored across a large part of the Atlantic now and dust also a big plume of it moving westward. So quiet there and now we're watching this one area across the uh, southern Gulf of Mexico. 40% chance of development uh, into at least a tropical depression over the next couple days as it moves slowly northwest. Then we have just one small wave there out in the Pacific. So we go back to this one, pushing a lot of tropical moisture up in our direction. So again, helping the sea breeze boundary for today, helping it for tomorrow as well, and even more so by Thursday, a combination of things. So the uh, tropical development areas where it's favorable for development is right down in here. Notice though, up towards the north, not very far, it's unfavorable. Again, we got a cold front moving southward, and that will help to pretty much keep any systems like that well down towards the south, helping out the entire Gulf Coast. But again, a lot of tropical moisture heading our direction over the coming day. Seven-day forecast then, keeping those uh, small rain chances around for today a little bit better tomorrow and on Thursday. And then we go isolated for the weekend. Another good shot by late Monday into Tuesday of next week. Highs back down the upper 80s.